Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update from the Royal Cornwall Showground. Wonderful to be back down here at this amazing show again. Next week I'll be at Serials on the Tuesday and it'll finish the week with Three Counties show. So please do come onto the stand, do come and say hello, it'd be brilliant to see you. We had our summer reception in Westminster this week and no more important topic to be discussing than rural mental health and well-being and I was absolutely delighted and honoured to be able to kick off an amazing initiative that is being led by Andy and Linda Eden in, in tragic memory of many ways of their wonderful son Leonard who, who took his own life but they are determined that his legacy is going to be about positive mental health and well-being. They're doing a tractor run all the way from John O'Groats through Wales, through the whole of England, crisscrossing right the way across into Norfolk, coming back down, entering Parliament. It'll be the first time a tractor has entered Parliament and I'm told that Mark Spencer is planning on driving the tractor and finishing up, I believe, in Cornwall. They've already raised £80,000, but importantly, at the front of the tractor is Lens Light, aiming to shine a light on this, this really, really challenging situation of mental health and well-being. Of course, many of you will have seen the Combine that is also doing a tour of the country with Ollie Harrison and Martin Williams. The more we can shine a light on the challenges of rural mental health and well-being, the better. Um, in other news, uh, I know many uh, farming in the HS2 area will be delighted that I had a meeting with uh, Mark Harper, the Transport Minister, this week. It has been completely unacceptable the way so many of our members have been treated, I have to say, for such a long period of time. So to be able to brief the minister on that, I had Louise Staples, who's headed up this area for us for such a long period of time. Lou was with me, uh, and I really hope now that the minister is going to take the action that is needed with HS2 to make sure that they are communicating what is going on at the right time. It's far too in-depth for me to do it justice in the detail here today, but please, We'll be putting detail out on NFU online, so do have a look at it. Um, so, as always, a, a whirlwind trip through, but I hope that's given you a, a bit of uh, signposting to what we've been doing. There's probably one other thing that I nearly forgot to say, and that was we had an amazing rural crime uh, seminar at our headquarters in Stoney Park this week, with, I believe, only over 40 chief constables coming in to Stoney headquarters Rural crime, huge issue for members right across the country. So delighted that so many of them are taking this subject really seriously and the feedback has been really, really positive. So that's another one to note. But as ever, wherever you are, please do take care and I really look forward to speaking to you again next week. It'll be from the Three Counties Show.